G'day, this is my Apple II Taiwanese clone that has a Z80 on the main board and 64K of RAM installed. And it's using a ROM board in slot zero. And because it actually has the processor integrated and the additional RAM, there is no slot four. Unfortunately, the controller for the keyboard is faulty and these controllers are becoming quite difficult to obtain. So what I've done, I've actually used the keyboard matrix and I've written some code for my Arduino Mega, uh, which doesn't require a shift register or any additional uh, components to replace the controller on the keyboard. So what's going on here, I'm just uh, passing the signals for scanning and reading the keys to the Mega directly by the controller chip, which is a TK10. And then it's generating the ASCII code and then passing that across to the keyboard input on the Apple II clone. Okay, I'm getting the five volts from the Apple II to power the Arduino, and the five volts is also being used uh, to pull up the signal for the shift key. At the moment, I'm not using the control key. I haven't implemented the arrow keys, but so far we have all the regular keys being scanned, plus the uppercase for the numbers. So we have the ability to write code with double quotes, uh, dollar signs, cent are all available, uh, plus and uh, multiply. The keypad is also working. Okay, let's just power it on and I'll give you a quick demo. Okay, there's the system on. So what we're going to do, we're just going to... Okay, look at that. Okay, wonderful. Enter. Okay, let's just go home. Clear the screen. Okay, let's just use the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, bit of key bounce there. Okay, it's not perfect. Okay, let's hold the shift key down and ah, stretch. Ah, okay, I'm not, okay, it's not perfect, but it needs some work still. Okay, but it's not bad. Yeah, these keys are not operational. Uh, okay, I need to look at that, but we're getting pretty close. Okay. Okay, so this is a, a good proof of concept. So it's possible to use the Mega and I've just uh, used a simple sketch and it's initializing the uh, scanning. So I've got the rows and columns and I'm using the Adafruit keypad library and then it's just taking the scanned key and it's just passing it out as the ASCII to the seven bits plus a strobe pulse. And it seems to work quite well. Okay, thanks for watching. I've just got a bit of work to do. And once I have the uh, control keys working and then I might even implement the function key to use the actual shortcuts that are actually 
on the keys because that shouldn't be that difficult to do now. Okay, so this has been a fun project. Ultimately, I think I will replace the actual controller, but it's good to know that I can actually use a, an Arduino and I could even use an Uno if I had a shift register just to simplify the whole cost because I don't really think uh, using a Mega 2560 is uh, the most effective device. But it's a good proof of concept and I'm, I'm very pleased uh, with uh, the progress we've made so far. Okay, cheers. Thanks for watching. Bye. Catch you in the next one.